This is double eighty here with a size comparison of masterpiece and some Revenge of Fallen Leader classes. I don't know, I'm bored, so I got the MP10 in and I just love this figure, so I'm just doing all types of retarded videos. Um, <clears throat> I only have the Masterpiece 10 and Ultima Optimus Prime with trailers. Ultima Optimus Prime is the worst Prime figure to me. It's a waste of money. Don't even buy it. World's smallest transformer, but that is actually the world's smallest transformer. Cyberverse with trailer. Leader class, Revenge of the Fallen, MP10, Takara G1 reissue, MP01, Hasbro Rodimus with trailer, and then Takara Hot Rod. One thing I've known with all Transformers and Optimus Primes with trailers is that there's a huge gap between the truck and the trailer, except for the new MP10, which has pretty much a real, like, life-size, well, way a real truck would be gapped. Like, look at that gap. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Cyberverse isn't bad either. Even G1 sucks. It's too gapped. And I know the MPO one has a huge gap too. I actually like my Rod of his Prime in trailer mode. It's pretty nice. I was debating if I should keep him like that and just transform into car and keep him in robot mode. MP10. I just love this figure. This figure is awesome. Man. Best pawn, hands down. Guys can sit there and argue and say MP101 is better, but it's not. Trust me. It is not. Once you get this figure in hand, you will see why it's not. It's just a, just one of the most solid Transformers I've ever held in my hand. I absolutely love them. Like the back of the truck is just amazingly detailed. Got brake lights and all that good stuff. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting kind of sucks. Um, I mean, that's about it. Just a size comparison video. I can all give you one last shot. I, know, I was gonna transform Sentinel Prime, but. What? Alright, I'll be there in a minute.